okay guys here we will see next uh, set of questions and answer of gcp scd exam let's get started question number 21 you are deploying an application to a compute engine if you am in a managed instance group the application must be running at all times but only a single instance of the vm should run for gcp project how should you configure the instance group answer set auto scaling to on set the minimum number of instance to 1 and set the maximum number of instance to 1 this is the correct answer you can see the explanation also now next question number 22 you have created a code snippet that should be triggered whenever a new file is uploaded to a cloud storage bucket you want to deploy this code snippet what should you do use app in engine and configure cloud scheduler to trigger the application using pubsub Use cloud functions and configure the bucket uh, as a trigger resource. Use Google Kubernetes engine and configure a com job to trigger the application using PubSub. Use Dataflow as a batch job and configure the bucket as a data source expansion. Now, the C is the answer. So, B is the correct answer. You can see the explanation also go through the link also. Next. You are building an application that process data files uploaded from thousands of suppliers. Your primary goals for the application are data security and expiration of Add data you need to design the application to restrict access so that suppliers can access only their own data give a uh, suppliers a right access to data only for 30 minutes delete data that is over 45 days old you have a very short deployment cycle and you need to make sure that the application requires minimal maintenance. Which two strategies should you use? Choose two. So this is the criteria while you are doing building the data files. So this is the criteria restrictions now answer <coughs> build a life cycle policy to delete cloud storage bucket after 45 days use sign url to allow suppliers limited time access to store their objects set up an sftp server for your application and create a separate user for this supplier build a cloud function that triggers a timer of 45 days to delete object that have expired so answer should be a and b a and b are correct next your company wants to standardize the creation and management of multiple 
total cloud resources using infrastructure as code. You want to minimize the amount of repetitive code needed to manage the, the environment, what should you do? Develop templates for the environment using cloud deployment manager. Use curl in a, in a terminal to send a REST request to the relevant Google API for each individual resource. Create Sorry. Uh, use the Cloud Console interface to provision and manage all related resources. Create a batch script that contains all requirement steps as G Cloud commands. Correct answer is A. Next, you are performing a monthly security check of your Google Cloud environment and want to know who has access to few data stored in your Google Cloud project. What should you do? Enable audit logs for all APIs that are related to the data storage. Review the IAM permission for any role that allows for data access. Review the identity our proxy settings for each resource. Create a data loss prevention job. Looks like B is the correct answer. Next, your company has embraced a hybrid cloud strategy, where some of the applications are deployed on Google Cloud, a virtual private network a VPN tunnel connects your virtual private network cloud a VPC in Google Cloud with your company's on-premises network. Multiple applications in Google Cloud need to connect to an on-premises database server and you want to avoid having to change the IP configuration in all of your applications when the IP of the database changes, what should you do? Configure CloudNet for all subnets of your VPC to be used when increasing from the VM instance. Create a private zone on Cloud DNS and configure the applications with the DNS name. Configure the IP of the database as custom metadata for each instance and query the metadata server. Query the compute engine internal DNS from the application to retrieve the IP of the database. Explanation. B is the correct answer. Cloud DNS core engine. Next. You have developed a containerized web application that will serve internal colleagues during business hours. 
we want to ensure that no cost can incur outside of the hours. The application is used. You have just created a new Google Cloud project and want to deploy the application. What should we do? Deploy the container on Cloud Run for Anthos and set the minimum number of instances to zero. Deploy the container on Cloud Run fully managed and set the minimum number of instances to zero. Deploy the container on App Engine flexible environment with auto scaling and set the value min instances to zero in the app y aml and deploy the container on app engine flexible environment to it manual scaling and set the values instances to zero in the app dot y a ml explanation so b is the correct because cloud run charges you only for the resources you use next you have experimented with google cloud using your own credit cards and expensed the cost to your company your company wants to streamline the billing process and charge the cost of your projects to their monthly invoice. What should you do? Grant the final team the IAM role of billing account user on the billing account heading to your credit card. Set up BigQuery billing export and grant for financial development department sorry, department IAM access query in the data. Create a ticket with Google billing support to ask them to send the invoice to your company. Change the billing account of your project to the billing account of your company. D is the correct answer. Next. You are running a data warehouse on BigQuery. A partner company is offering a recommendation engine based on the data in your data warehouse. The partner company is also running their application on Google Cloud. They manage the resources in their own project, but they need access to the big query data set in your project. You want to provide the partner company with access to the data set. What should you do? Create a service account in your own project and grant this service account access to big query in your project. Create a service account in your own project and ask the partner to grant this service account access to BigQuery in their project. Ask the partner to create a service account in their project and have them give the service account access to BigQuery in their project. Ask the partner to create a service account in the project and 
grant their service account access to the big query data set in our concept. Explanation. This is the correct answer. Uh, because access to BigQuery has to be granted in your project as the data resides in your project and not in the project maps. Next and last. Your web application has been running successfully on cloud run for antics. You wanna evaluate an updated version of the application with a specific percentage of your production user canary deployment. What should you do? Create a new service with the new version of the application split traffic between this version and the version that is currently running. Create a new version with the new version of the application as split traffic between this version and the version that is currently running. I don't know. Create a new service with the new version of the application. No, not this one. Create a new version with the new version of the application and HTTP load balancer. No. So, correct answer should be create a new revision, revision with the new version. Thanks for watching. See you in the next